My experience of arias and barcaroles began with a phone call. I was in London, concerts with the London Symphony. At my flat, phone rang. It was Leonard Bernstein. Hi, Lenny, what's up? Well, what's up is, he says, I'm writing a new piece, and it's going to be premiered about, uh, I don't know, four months from now. Uh, would you play it with me? It's going to be for Piano Four Hands and Voices. I said, of course, I would love to do that. He said, great. So, said, well, uh, will you send me some music? He said, well, uh, I can send you something, but mostly it's not written yet. got back to New York, we began playing through the piece, and from moment to moment there were new bars being added. So it was great fun, even though the music, some of it, was very serious. This performance is done by soprano Isabel Leonard and bass baritone Ryan McKinney. These two have captured what I know is the spirit of this piece from the moment of its creation in a unique and remarkable way. They do it so effortlessly and so infectiously. It suggests to me what I know Lenny was looking for in an ideal performance. I have such great affection for this piece. I love the music and I love the way it really allows us to understand Bernstein without any disguise. In this Bernstein centenary year, so much has been said and written about him. I myself have said very, very little. But it occurred to me at this moment as we actually approach his birthday that these performances could say far more eloquently than any words that I might offer, what was he actually like? What was the range of his unbelievably generous, confrontational, omnivorous, curious spirit with which he so delighted and challenged us at every moment? <laughs>